Oh, yes. Uh, that was just after we'd received our, our bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. You can see a lot of smiling faces and very, very happy people there. Um, I'd say that's probably one of mine and, and the team's proudest moments, to be honest, um, to be able to not just, you know, um, yourself, but the whole Commonwealth Games and being part of a, a much wider team than just the White Ferns was something incredibly special and the first time that it's happened for, for female cricket. So it was a, a really exciting time to be a part of. Uh, New York. We're in New York there, actually. Um, that's my first time to a baseball game. Um, we're on our way home from the West Indies, I think. Uh, so as a team, we had 24 hours pretty much um, before our next flight home to, to New Zealand. So uh, we arrived that night, got changed, went straight to the baseball uh, and then spent the whole next day walking around New York City. I forget how many steps we would have covered. But um, yeah, just one of those really great things that you're able to do, um, I suppose, when you're living this fantastic life that we get to live traveling around the world um yeah a real perk to be able to stop in new york city for 24 hours with some of your best friends oh well, yes uh playing for the renegades i think that is um in the wbbl so um yeah obviously spent five years playing with the melbourne renegades and had some amazing times there um got to know a few of the australian players really well and create some really cool friendships from that as well so um, i think that just shows what franchise cricket does in terms of bringing people together and, and learning from other people around the world. Uh, yes, Canterbury winning the T20 title. Uh, you can see Grace there is in the background there. So um, yeah, that was very cool. I think that was um, Amy's first year back playing um, post-pregnancy. Post and um, yeah, we managed to, to make the T20 final and we were in a bit of trouble. And um, thankfully a few came out of the middle off the bat and we managed to, to get a win. <laughs> and, um, it was very special being able to celebrate that with Grace there as well. Um, she became a bit of a lucky charm, actually. Um, as a Canterbury team, we won, we've won we won every final we've made when she's been at the ground. Uh, and this past year, we actually played a, a one-day final uh, in Queenstown and we didn't take Grace and we lost. So um, we got in a bit of trouble for not having her with us. Oh, the first year of the exhibition games of the IPL. Um, yeah, very another thing that was amazing to be a part of. Um, those first couple of years where they did um, exhibition games and I guess rubbing shoulders with some of the Indian players and uh, you sort of knew then that it would be really special whenever a, a women's IPL took off and we certainly saw that um, this year the, the impact that that's going to have on the game is fantastic. <laughs> yeah that was um, Amy and I had been I guess uh, officially capped for New Zealand um, that day so really special to be able to have um, the whole family there together and, and receive our um, New Zealand caps. Oh yes, uh, I think that was the, the second IPL exhibition games or the first, I'm not sure, but I think Susie actually took that picture. Um, I don't normally wear pink, so she was actually um, making fun of me a little bit, I think, um, for being in the pink that day.